Hi, I'm Jennifer Sari with the National Weather Service, and I'm joined by Gary Crook from the Alabama Institute for the Deaf and Blind. A part of any preparedness plan is to know the differences between the weather alerts that could be issued for your area and understand their criteria. For winter weather, criteria can vary across the country. Learning the differences between winter weather alerts will help you better understand your forecast and know if hazardous weather could affect your community and when. During the growing season, look for the issuance of frost and freeze alerts. This will help you prepare any sensitive vegetation ahead of the arrival of cold temperatures. Growing seasons differ acro across the country. Therefore, there are different guidelines on the issuance of frost and freeze alerts. So be sure to know your local criteria. During the growing season, a frost advisory is issued when minimum temperatures are forecast to be 33 to 36 degrees with the risk of damage to sensitive plants from frost. A freeze warning is issued when minimum temperatures are forecast to be 32 degrees or less. And a hard freeze warning is minimum temperatures that are forecast to be 20 degrees or less. There are three types of alerts for winter weather precipitation. A winter weather advisory means that light amounts of snow, sleet, or ice could cause minor impacts. A winter storm watch means that significant impacts from high amounts of snow, sleet, or ice are possible. A winter storm warning means that significant impacts from high amounts of snow, sleet, or ice are expected. There are also three types of alerts for low wind chills. The wind chill is how cold it feels to you when there is a combination of wind and cold air and is used to assess the risk of frostbite on unclothed parts of the body. A wind chill advisory is issued when cold and breezy weather is expected and could cause frostbite or hypothermia. A wind chill watch is issued when dangerously low wind chills are possible. A wind chill warning is issued when dangerously low wind chills, which could quickly cause frostbite or hypothermia, are expected. Sometimes winter storms are so severe that a blizzard warning becomes necessary. Blizzards occur when strong winds cause blowing snow and whiteout conditions, making for exceptionally dangerous or impossible travel. A blizzard warning is issued when these conditions are expect, expected to last three hours or more. Another very dangerous type of winter weather is a snow squall. A snow squall is an intense, short-lived burst of heavy snowfall that leads to the rapid reduction in visibility and is often accompanied by gusty winds. These sudden extreme conditions can result in multi-vehicle pileups. When a snow squall warning is issued, you should avoid or delay travel until the snow squall passes your area. If you are already traveling and cannot exit the road, reduce your speed turn on your headlights and hazard lights and allow plenty of distance between you and the car in front of you.